What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Joining us now is Rishi Taparia, Vice President of Business Operations at Point, a software platform trying to make mobile payments a bit easier. Rishi, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so this thing is, is really cool looking, but for people who, who, uh, who may be unfamiliar, how is Point helping consumer as well as the merchant and walk us through what the, uh, what the apparatus is itself? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're trying to do for uh, merchants around the country and around the world is what smartphones did for consumers. Give them access to incredible software and security on top of a necessary device. If you think about what smartphones have done for consumers, we have access to incredible capabilities at our fingertips, but merchants have largely been left behind by technology. And so we've built hardware from the ground up and built a proprietary software on top of it to create a platform on top of which merchants can now also get access to third-party applications to help run their business better. Please. So it's fully secure, fully capable, and uh, accepts any payment type that a consumer will want to pay while also in allowing for merchants to have a beautiful device in their store. Okay, Rishi, so later this year, we're expecting a 200, the newest model to come out, 0.5. That's a pretty steep price point for some people, still obviously a lot less than the iPhone if they just wanted to integrate some sort of app to try to make this work on their own phone themselves. But what specifically are they going to be able to do? What all does it encompass? Can they even make calls? I mean, we've seen some people come on with devices similar like this that want to be able to make calls so that they can check on inventory and check on the warehouse simultaneously in the product as well. Sure, yeah, no, so, you know, the device was built as a payment-first device, and the reason for that is because of all the security standards that go into building a payment hardware. Uh, there's what we call the payment card industry, PCI, as well as EMV, uh, the, the June chip standards, and in order for an enterprise-grade security, you need to be able to have access to all of the capacity and capabilities that you need with these certifications that are required for something to be able to scale. So unlike a phone, which is a consumer uh, hardware technology that isn't fully certified, we built it so that not only is it fully certified, but you can also accept all the payment types that are coming out as well as out already. So your traditional magnetic stripe, your new chip card that people are seeing, Apple Pay with NFC, and even QR code and Bluetooth, which are not yet readily available here in the United States, but are being used widely across the world. So it sounds like that feeds into what my next question was because on your website you do discuss the importance of, of how you call the .5 future proof and obviously we know that the chip readers on a lot of debit cards are a relatively kind of new uh, invention for us and kind of in day-to-day -day living but how can you design something that is truly future proof without really having a too concrete of a knowledge of, of where a lot of these payment services will be several years down the line? Sure so you know payments is all about standards and standards take a long time to implement and so what we've done is, from a physical payment perspective, we've tried to integrate all of the payment types that we believe will persist over the next 10 years, uh, based on our conversations with the networks, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, and what we're seeing evolve over time uh, in other countries. And from a digital perspective, one of the things that's amazing about Point is any digital payment type can be integrated into the device with a simple push of the button uh, if you want to accept Bitcoin as an example, or you want to accept a digital form of payment like PayPal, you can simply upload that and you know enable it from the device in an over-the-air update as the device is again fully connected and able to take on all of the different digital and physical forms of payment. Rishi, your CEO is the former head of Google Wallet. What sort of expertise has that brought to the company? Oh, it's been fantastic. Uh, you know, Osama brings with him 25 years of experience in payments and, and, and commerce. And, you know, we wouldn't be where we are without his understanding. You know, payments is a very difficult uh, industry to break into and see tremendous and broad success. And without his understanding of the market, understanding of the landscape, and a ability to see around two corners, if you will, uh, we would certainly not be where we are today. You referenced, uh, you used the word beautiful a while ago to, des to describe the design of the Point .5, and that's kind of what I'm interested in. I I'm interested in kind of the aesthetics that went behind it because on the website there are videos that, you know, it, it, there seems to be a very high mobility factor, as we can see there on the screen. Uh, you know, waiters can easily lay it down on, on tables. Bartenders can put it on bar tops. Talk to us a bit about the design genesis and what went into that. What were the most important factors to consider? Absolutely. So we spent a lot of time doing user research to try and figure out 
what made the most sense. You know, merchants have so long been relegated to ugly gray bricks that are necessary devices they use every day to make a payment. But these are things that people keep in drawers or behind the countertop. And, you know, in the 21st century, when you've got companies like Apple putting out beautiful products that are aesthetically pleasing, we wanted to make sure that merchants had access to that similar level of aesthetic and brand cachet, if you will, uh, on their countertop, because that's one of the first things that you see when you walk up to the cashier's stand. And it's the thing that you know you're going to er interact with. And so we wanted to make sure we designed it from the ground up to be beautiful, to be aesthetically pleasing, have great balance and great weight, uh, and while at the same time maintain the rigorous security standards we wanted to em emplace and empower the merchant with, as well as all the capabilities that we built into the device. Rishi, internally, how does the breakdown work in terms of the focus on software versus the focus on hardware? Because obviously a lot of retailers can buy this, but over time, who knows what sort of devices will be available and how much you can consolidate all of the devices. So right now at the company, what is the focus on software versus the hardware? I would say, you know, we're a software company first. Uh, as an organization, we believe in the platform that we're trying to build and the ena enablement of merchants through third-party software access on top of our platform. However, that being said, you know, we are a hardware company as well in that we are making payments hardware. And so the split is about 50-50 at the moment. Uh, you know, 50% of the company focused on the software platform and 50% making sure that we've got all of the hardware operations and manufacturing in place. Uh, and, but certainly the effort and over time will scale on the software side as opposed to hardware. Now, let me ask you, when you release something like this, it seems like you may have a customer-by-customer customer need. What I mean by that is that, you know, there may really need to be a personal tailorization product. So, kind of what features are inherent in all the devices that allow for client-by-client client customization? Yeah, so, you know, the device runs PointOS, which is a variant of Android. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that the clients that are using the device can build for themselves. Uh, you know, just like Apple with the iPhone and iOS on top of it with third-party applications being developed using standard and common APIs and SDKs. We wanted to do the same thing for the retailers and the merchants such that they can build whatever they need uh, while not having to think about payments at all, while not having to think about how secure the device is. So we've built as a standard the hardware and the underlying operating system as well as APIs and SDKs that can integrate to whatever third-party application or proprietary application a customer wants to build and allow for that integration to take place seamlessly on top of the device. Rishi Taparia, Vice President of Business Operations at Point. Rishi, thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you, Rishi. All right, everyone.